Give me thy torch, boy. Henson, stand aloof. Nah, yet put it out, for I would not be seen. Um, over uh, yon yew tree lay thee all along, holding thine ear close to the hollow ground, so shall no foot upon the churchyard tread. Whistle then to me, when thou hearest something approach. Do as I bid thee, go. I'm almost afraid to stand alone, here in the churchyard, yet I will adventure. Sweet flowers, with flowers in thy bridal bread I strew. Oh woe, the canopy is dust and stones. The obsequies for thee that I will keep. Nightly shall be to strew thy grave and weep. Boy doth whistle something approach. What cursed foot wanders this way tonight to cross my obsequies and true love's right? Give me the mattock and the retching iron. Hold, take this letter. Early in the morning, See thou deliver it to my lord and father. Whatever thou hearest or seest, stand all aloof, and do not interrupt me in my course. I will be gone, sir, and not trouble you. So shalt thou show me friendship? Take thou that. Live, and be prosperous, and farewell, good fellow. For all the same, I'll hide me hereabout. His looks I fear, and intentions I doubt. Thou detestable ma, thou womb of death, gorged with the dearest morsel of the earth, thus I enforce thy rotten jaws to open, and in despite I'll cram thee with more food. Oh, so uh, this is that banished haughty Montague that murdered my love's cousin, with which grief it is supposed the fair creature died. And here is come to do some villainous shame to the dead bodies, I will apprehend him. Stop thy unhallowed toil, vile Montague. Can vengeance be pursued further than death? Condemned villain, I do apprehend thee. Obey, and go with me, for thou must die. I must indeed, and therefore came I hither. Good gentle youth, tempt not a desperate man. Fly hence and leave me. Think upon these gone. Let them affright thee. I beseech thee, youth. Put not another sin upon my head, by urging my, me to fury. Oh, be gone. By heaven I love thee better than myself, for I come hither, armed against myself. Stay not, be gone. Live, and hereafter say, a madman's mercy, bid thee run away. I do defy thy conjurations, and apprehend thee for a felon here. Will thou provoke me? Then have at thee, boy. Slain. If thou be merciful, open the tomb and lay me with Juliet. In faith I will, let me pursue this face. Mercutio's kinman, noble county Paris. What said my man when my betossed soul? Did I not attend him as we rode? I think he told me Paris should, not, should have married Juliet. Death, lie thou there. A, by a dead man interred. How oft when men are at the point of death, have they been merry, which their keepers call a lightning before death. Oh, how may I call this a lightning? Oh, my love, my wife, death that hath sucked the honey from thy breath. Hath had no power upon thy beauty, thou art not conquered, beauty's in sign yet, is crimson in thy lips and in thy cheeks. Ah, dear Juliet, why art thou so fair? 
from this world wearied flesh. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, O oh you, the doors of breath, seal with a righteous kiss. Here's to my love. O oh, true Apocalypse, thy drugs are quick, thus with the kiss I die. St. Francis, be at my speed. How oft tonight have my old feet stumbled at graves. <laughs> Who's there? Here's one, a friend, a one that knows you well. Bliss be upon you, tell me. Good, my friend, what torches yawned and vainly led this light to grubs and eyeless skulls. As I discern, it burneth in the capel's monument. It doth so, holy sir, and there's my master, the one that you love. Who is it? Romeo. How long hath he been there? Full half an hour. Go with me to the vault. I dare not, sir. My master knows not, but I am gone hence. And fearfully did menace me with death if I should stay and look on his intents. Stay then, I'll go alone, for fear comes upon me. Oh, much I fear some ill and lucky thing. As I did sleep under this yew tree here, I dreamt my master and another fought and that my master slew him. Oh, Romeo, alack, alack, what blood is this which stains the stony entrance of the sepulchre? What mean these masterless and gory swords to lie discolored by this place of peace? Romeo. Oh, pale, who else? And Paris, too? And steeped in blood? Oh, what an unkind hour is guilty of this lamentable chance. The lady stirs. Oh, comfortable friar, where is my lord? I do remember well where I should be. And there I am. Where is my Romeo? I hear some noise. Lady, come from that nest of death, contagion, and unnatural sleep. A greater power that we could contradict has thwarted our intents. Come, come away. Thy husband in thy bosom lies dead. And Paris, too. Come, I'll dispose of thee among a sisterhood of holy nuns. Stay not to question, for the watch is coming. Come go, good Juliet, for I dare no longer stay. Go, get thee hence, for I will not away. What's here, a cup closed in my true love's hand? Poison, I see, hath been his timeless end. O oh, churl, drink all and left no friendly drop. To help me after, I will kiss thy lips. Haply some poison yet doth hang on them, to make me die with restorative. Thy lips are warm. Then I'll be brief. Oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheep. Their rust and let me die. Reverend Johnny Klein here to talk to you about a very serious issue today. Suicide. Suicide is not a joke. Suicide claims about one million lives per year, not including the 10 to 20 million attempts annually. Now, suicide is about the third leading cause of death for people between the ages of 10 to 24, and the suicide rate for teens has increased by about 300% in the past half decade. And suicide is a permanent and irreversible solution to a temporary problem. Not to mention the fact that your loved ones will be devastated by losing you. If you ever have the dark thoughts of suicide cross your mind, please call the number on the bottom of the screen. We're here for you.